Hi guys and welcome to the Android Tutorial YouTube channel. Today I want to check out the Blue C4 which is basically an Android Go phone um, and I already have a video of, of the unboxing and showing off a little bit about the phone. Um, I do want to uh, do a video about how to take pictures or how the pictures turn out in this phone. It has been requested by already three people so I, I would just wanted to uh, show them and uh, perhaps make a better decision when purchasing a phone. I uh, just want to remember or remind you guys that this phone is a low spec device so it just has one RAM, uh, uh, um, one gig of RAM and it has 8 gigabytes of disk uh, and uh, it's running Android Go. Um, so obviously the screen is not uh, the best, the camera is not the best uh, but it costs $70 and uh, I think that at least for this kind of experience uh, it it's good uh, I do think that um, so ha having said that I'm going to double click uh, so I can open the camera from here okay you do see that it does take a little while and uh, these are going to be my three subjects for the photo shoot. Uh, do keep into consideration that there's a little bit of light here. You got the cell phone uh, case, you got a battery pack from Samsung, and you got a 360 Theta camera. Uh, and basically, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take random pictures um, and I'm going to show them to you in just a bit. Uh, and give you my thoughts. I'm also gonna upload them into uh, Google Photos for you to check out the resolution of the photos. Um, that's gonna be interesting and you got better um, better idea of what you would be buying. So hold on, I, I'm taking pictures. Something that I do like uh, even though it's like a, a low budget phone I can see that, uh, for example, it does take pictures really quickly. So, for example, I pick, took a picture there, took a picture there, and took a picture there. And um, if you think about it, being a, such a low-budget phone and able to take pictures that quickly, um, it's it's impressive. Um, I, I do find it uh, really, really amazing. So uh, I think that the camera app, it's, it's failing. I don't know if I, I did something or it hasn't been updated in a while. Uh, anyway, here's Google Photos. And um, in my Google Photos, I'm going to come to camera. So once again, all of these pictures are going to be uploaded into my uh, Google. I'm going to do a link. I'm going to leave the link for you to see the pictures. But you basically he see here the... Uh, resolution it does say Samsung there's the battery pack over there and I don't know if you could see it well uh, it it's a little bit hard to see in this uh, low low light screen but um, you can see the battery pack you could see the case uh, the fluent uh, like transitioning from one photo to the other is not that bad um, I, I would strongly suggest that you upload these pictures to Google Photos and then delete them from your phone in order to save a little bit of memory. That's my suggestion. Um, but as you can see, uh, it does take pictures. Uh, they do look a little bit grainy, uh, but I, I do think that it does the job really well uh, to be in order uh, to be a $70 phone. So I, I, I give kudos to that. Um, yeah, and that would be basically it. Um, so this was for the people that uh, requested me to um, to take some pictures and show them to them uh, in order to see how that camera worked or how good it worked. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. As I said, I'm going to link a, a, a link uh, in the description of the video where you can find the Google Photos uh, album. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Supporting the channel helps us a lot. And uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel helps us even more. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.